Hey guys, welcome back to RXK. It's Kim and I'm stopping in with my 10 month lock update. As you can see, I have ventured out and got my first style. I got my locks retwisted by Empress Locks. Um, she's in Texas and I am in love with this style. So it's just these two um, braids with the, um, it's kind of like a combination of braid and roll. Um, I don't know if you can see the back. I was going for um, a halo effect, but my locks weren't um, long enough. So I went with this. Cheese. Um, so quick things about last month's journey. Um, I finally got all the... Um, residue out of my locks that I was seeing around my hairline. Um, I just had to shampoo it a lot more times than I did um, in the past when I would wash my hair. I think I shampooed it like four times and I would let it sit. I would shampoo it, let it sit, rinse it out with hot water and use a lot of fr friction on the ends of my locks. Um, and I, I washed it like a total of three times. I think that's okay, especially since I only wash my hair once a month. It's not like I'm really stripping it by washing it too frequently. So when I do wash it, I want to make sure that I really get it really clean. Um, I actually ended up combining two of my locks in the back. So I know you guys might not remember, but um, in the beginning when I was installing my locks, I showed you how, you know, my edges are a different texture and this hair over here was straight at the ends and didn't even curl up. And in the back, it had the same texture as, you know, my perimeter. So that hair, even though um, it's not thinning back here or anything, it's just the texture is really thin and really soft. So I made the box the same size as all the other boxes in my head. However, around my hairline and around the back, they needed to be bigger because the hair texture was softer. Whereas in the middle of the boxes, uh, my boxes or grid could be smaller because the hair is thicker, but it was still strong enough. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I think even though this side, you can see where it's like two locks like that but they're together. They're kind of like interlocked and then twisted with the rubber band at the end. So eventually they're gonna lock together. I plan on doing the same thing with this one over here, combining it with one of the neighboring ones. Um, next time I retwist my hair, just to reinforce that one, cause I don't want anything falling up out of here, okay? Um, as far as my edges go, I am good with this side but this side just like really bothers me and it's crazy to me how this hair grows but it's so short it essentially i would think it should be just as long as all the rest of my hair so that tells me you know that that hair is breaking off some way somehow so right now um i said that between this month and next month or month 11 well actually i'm at the end of month 10 sorry guys but still it's month 10 okay I'm in the middle of it, but um, between month uh, 10 and month 12, up until month 12, my year mark, I want to take extra care of my edges and making sure that I'm wearing my satin scarf. I'm not um, having it sliding back or causing a lot of friction. I'm sleeping on my satin pillowcases and I'm moisturizing it. And I want to see if that's going to work. So I'll give you guys an update um, the next time that I check in for my 11 month mark well, i mean my 12th month mark on whether or not i was successful in noticing any differences here but if not i guess this is just gonna have to be what it's gonna be in a oh well jingle bell okay um what else i i really don't have any other updates besides me wanting to do something with my edges combining the locks in the back because of the hair texture um the fact that i was finally able to get lint out of my hair by washing it multiple times and using a lot of friction on the ends of my hair and 
um oh and i made a new decision so next month i'm going to interlock my hair i know before i told you guys that you know i was weary about interlocking and didn't want to use that as a primary method of maintaining my hair because of the potential of breakage but i met a girl on i follow a girl on instagram who also has small locks and her locks are pretty long she told me that she had been growing them for about six years at this point and um she did a combination of interlocking and palm rolling so she didn't interlock every time she didn't palm roll every time and I want to do that because um, when I retwisted my hair this time, I noticed that the part that was two strand twisted, which is pretty much down to this part. So all of this here was two strand twisted, but all of this above it where it's thinner and like that's where the new growth is. I'm trying to untwist it for you guys. That's like unlocked hair. So I worry that um, the issue with these look being so weak in the back with all, so much unlocked hair um, is that the hair is not locked so it's not strong and that's what makes it more likely to break. So I want to interlock it back up here and then maybe um, I'll say I'll interlock it at month 11 and then from that point on, I think I might interlock it quarterly. So every four months, once every four months, I might interlock it and then the other three times I'll palm roll. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna interlock next month and I'll check back in and let you all know like how that went and how my locks feel. And then we'll just keep monitoring before we decide if I'll interlock ever again. But I know that I won't do it every month because like I said before, I know that that will break my hair. But um, yeah, I'm gonna insert some pictures of what my hair looks like down. I had my loctician to take some pictures along the way so you can kind of see the length of it and what it was looking like before it was twisted, as it was getting twisted. And then you see what the style looks like. And then guess what guys, good news. I finally counted my locks and on June 23rd, I found out, so that's 623, I found out that I had 236 locks. So for all of you that are curious about how many locks I have, that's how many. But I will have less probably next month when I interlock because I'm going to combine some of the ones on my perimeter. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how many I combine. All right, guys, thanks for checking in and stay tuned for my 11-month lock update. Peace.